Alright, hello everyone and welcome aboard November 7908 Uniform. My name is Michael. I'm going to be your pilot today. It is Friday, 16th, 16th of June. Hope you're all doing well, wherever you may be. So, my pre-flight and walk around has already been done. I went ahead and filled up both wings, so we have our total 36 gallons of fuel on board. So let's move right along to our um, air checklist. A passenger brief. Let me go ahead and go over a couple of things with you real quick. Uh, we're going to start with our seat belts and harnesses. The seat harness goes over your shoulders and the metal buckle is going to slide right through the harness receiver and snap into the female receptacle. And to release your seat belt harness assembly, you would just lift up on the metal buckle and everything will come apart for you. Uh, there's a couple air vents up here in the upper right and upper left of the airplane. Uh, feel free to position those as needed. It's a ram air style effect. So when they're out, you're getting air coming in. And when they're pushed in, you won't feel that air. Feel free to rotate those up and down as you feel the need to. I am going to recommend that you don't have them aimed directly at your face. Uh, the air rushing past your headset microphone can interfere with the uh, intercom. Uh, we do have heat on board, but as warm as it is today, we're not going to have to worry about cabin heat, and it is on my side, so you know I'll be the one in control of that. Um, there's a fire extinguisher in between both of our seats here in the inadvertent effect of an airplane or engine fire. Um, it is a type BC, so it will be applicable to handle anything that we need to handle. Uh, on the aircraft. And the way that fire extinguisher works, you would just unclip it from the center of the console here and pull the pin out, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the trigger, and sweep side to side at the base of the fire. A couple of exits, uh, two exits on the vehicle, you exit the, I said vehicle, two exits on the airplane, you exit the airplane the same way you got in. Um, the door opens with this handle here, you just push it down and pop the door open. Uh, your headset would go over your head, just like a pair of headphones would. Place it directly over your head. And please have that microphone boom close up to the, your lips there, because if you cannot hear you talk, then I cannot hear you talk. The closer the microphone is, the better. Speaking of talking, feel free to talk while we are in flight. However, there may be a point in time where I need you to remain quiet while we're talking to ATC. So I'll just give you a little signal like that. And if you would please momentarily refrain from speaking, then I will tell you when it is appropriate to go ahead and talk again. Speaking of talking, I love hearing about airplanes in the sky. If you do see one, please go ahead and point it out to me. You can tell me airplane in the front, airplane to the right, or, you know, airplane 6 o'clock. 9 o'clock, whatever nomenclature you might prefer. I do love hearing about other airplanes and traffic in the sky. Now, do you have any questions over anything we've gone over so far? All right, great. One more thing. Uh, your seat does slide, slide forward and backward. Um, so feel free to slide your seat you know, to where you're most comfortable. But please note that the controls that you see in front of you are also my flight controls. So please don't slide your seat so far forward to where the yoke will interfere with your chest if I have to pull the yoke full back. And that goes for the pedals down on the floor. Please keep your feet firmly on the floor and away from my rudder pedals. All right. Let's go ahead and get things started up here. We've already got our Hobbs and Tack time. Circuit breakers are all in, and there's no alternate static source on this aircraft. So we'll proceed right along to our start checklist. And seat track, I am already scooted up and locked in. Avionics are off. RP is off. Let's get our mixture to full rich. Throttle slight. Let's go two on the primer. It was already started a little bit earlier. One. Two. I think I'll go three on the primer. And there's three. Okay, primer is in and locked. Now we've got our key. Alright, uh, primer's in and locked. Brakes are gonna go on. Looks clear on the left. We are clear on the right. Clear front. Okay. Brakes on. Masters on. Beacon going on. Axe to start. I'm looking for oil pressure.
and our oil pressure's in the green. Let's go ahead and get our taxi light on so that we can be seen here on the ground. Okay. Now we'll move right along to our pre-taxi checklist. My seatbelt's on. Your seatbelt is on. Let's get our flaps up. Flaps are up. Not going to worry about any heat today, but let's go ahead and get our avionics on. And I'm going to lean us out just a little bit while we're here on the ground. We don't have a local ATIS here, but I am going to go ahead and look at the closest METAR, which is Mike in November, November. Once it pulls that information. All right, let's try a different source. Last reported in Marianne's ASOS, winds was 360 at 12. We are going to have a direct crosswind, a few clouds at 3,600 feet, and I do believe that has lifted up considerably. Scattered layer at 4,500 and overcast at 5,500. So based on this 5,500, it's going to be our ceiling, but we're going to grab more uh, valid information once we're in the air from the ASOS. So we've got our weather, our altimeter set to field elevation, so that looks good. Looks like right around 2985. The temperature 202.12, so not a very wide spread there. Could explain all the clouds in the area. All right, good. I've got our ADIS. We set our altimeter. We've got our transponder on. We are squawking mode Charlie, down terminator. Radio, let's see. All right, I keyed up. I did get a little transmit light there, so I'm gonna assume that our radio is transmitting. ADSB is tied into our nav lights, so let's get those on. Uh, okay. Taxi lights are already on, brakes will test momentarily, as well as our attitude and turn coordinator will test those on the roll. Let's go ahead and set our heading indicator to compass. And that looks good right about there. All right, brakes off, brake test, all right, nose drop down. Our turn coordinator is working as it should. Wind correction in. And based on that sock. 
going to take runway 28. Morrill County, November 9 or 8 uniform, taxi runway 28 Morrill. We'll go down here to the stretch hold. We'll go ahead and do a run up. And here is my shameless plug for X-Plane 12. If you are a flight simulator fan, Lam and I Research did an excellent job with X-Plane 12. Go ahead and check it out. Final is clear. Stop here, keep our nose angled towards final so we can see any traffic that might be coming in and possibly not making any radio calls. All right, what's on our run-up checklist? Brakes are on. A few won't. Let's get our fuel over to both. Trim is take off. Trim is set for take off. All right, flight controls down on the right, up on the left, down on the left, up on the right. Elevator and rudder. True and responsive. Okay, primer is in and locked. Make sure it's going in for best power. Here we go, 1600 RPM. Brakes are on. Left mag, there's a drop. Back to both. Right mag, there's a drop. 
Back to both. Repeat. There's a drop. Repeat off. Suction's in the green. Oil pressure's looking good. Oil temperature's coming up. Alright, let's go ahead and idle back. Check our throttle friction. That feels good. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Okay, 28 final is clear. Runway is clear. I am clear for takeoff. Moore County traffic, November 79998 uniform, taking 28 straight out departure tomorrow. Alright, here we go. that center line. Get our wind correction in. There we go, full power and rudder for center. Airspeed's coming alive. Let's rotate. Positive rate. Climb out at 80. Looking for any weather systems. Far over towards Marion. Uh, looks like it might have just transitioned back to BFR. All right, let's go ahead and level off here, 2,500. And let's head off to the left a little. Lift my left wing, looks clear.
don't want to go that way. That plane looks clear. There's my place, 3 Oscar Hotel 7. Let's go fly over Joe's, shall we? My left wing looks clear. Place traffic, November 7999 uniform, about one, two miles west, going to be transitioning west to east, 2500, my place. My place, 3 Oscar Hotel 7, has an annual fly-in that happens the second Sunday in October every year. It's always a good time. Feel free to fly in, drive in, check it out. Alright, I think we'll climb up to say 3500, 30, we'll see what it looks like, we might do a couple of steep turns, get our power in. And we got clouds that high. Alright, we'll stick around 3,000 feet. We'll do some clearing turns. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's... Yeah, there's a cloud. There's a cloud. Alright, we might have to forego our steep turns today.
I think we'll drop back down to 2,500 for just for cloud clearance. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pull my power out, pull my car paint on. County runway is clear. And here we are at 2500. Repeat back off. I think we'll just uh, kind of stay local. Um, we'll go fly over my house real quick, come back, and probably just work the pattern. And it's just because just of these clouds. I don't want to be at 3,000 feet. Uh, and when I got uh, uh, scattered at 3,300. State Route 95, there's my road right there. We'll lift my left, my right wing. That looks clear to the right. Let's go ahead and make that turn. My left wing, that looks clear. Another turn.
County traffic, November 908 uniform, four miles north, gonna cross over midfield, left downwind, 28. A full stop, Morrow. All right, let's get down to pattern altitude. Repeats coming on. All right, there's TPA. All right, let's slow us up a bit. Repeat on. Trim for this. Morrow County, 908 uniform, crossing midfield, grab down the wind, 28 Morrow. My left wing, that looks clear. Morrow County, 908 uniform, turning left down, wind 28, full stop, Morrow. A little bit wide. That wind really pushed us. Descent. Repeats on. Morrow County, 908 uniform, turning left base 28, full stop, Morrow. Alright, my backwards base looks clear. Final looks clear. I'm clear to land. Let's get flaps 10 in. The white arc here. Actually, we'll try this one with no flaps. I'm just going to do no flaps. As windy as it is, we'll go no flaps. Grab final, Morrow County, 908 uniform, final approach, 28 full stop, Morrow.
Need to put that upwind wheel down first. Put that wind correction in. Bit too fast on that one. We'll do it again. This time in the pattern. More County traffic. November nine eight uniform. Back taxi two eight tomorrow. get off clear the runway we'll take another quick look at the weather County 9 or 8 uniform is clear to 8 tomorrow. All right, landing off, flaps. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can grab some more there. Yep, 360 at 12. Visibility 7. Alright, we'll go again. Do another in the pattern. I'll tell you what happened is I floated quite a bit down the runway. I think it was still going a bit too fast.
Yeah, they're able to keep that wind correction in even on a taxi roll. Alright, from here I can see that 2-8 final is clear. Slow our roll a little bit. Final is still clear. Runway is clear. I am clear for takeoff. Morrow County, November 9 or 8 uniform, taking 2 8 left close traffic. Morrow. Alright, let's get power in. Wind correction. All right, we're on the center line. We got that wind correction in. Okay, here we go. Full power. Airspeed's coming alive. Neutral. Let's rotate. Climb out at 80. County 9 or 8 uniform, departure leg 2 8 Morrow. Surprisingly, I don't hear anybody else on the radio. Alright, lift my left wing, looks clear. Morrow County 9 or 8 uniform, turning left crosswind 2 8 Morrow. Got that wind pushing us, so we're not going to stay here very long. Let's roll right in. Warren County, 9-8 uniform, left down wind, 2-8 Morrow. Pattern altitude, let's level off. Alright, let's get our carpet on. I beam the numbers. Alright, power back. 1600. There's a 45. 
Morrow County, 908 Uniform, turning left base 28, Morrow. All right, my back always base is clear. Bird up there, but final approach is clear. All right, I'm clear to land. Alright, it's rule final. Morrow County 9 or 8 uniform, turning final 2 8 Morrow. It is windy. All right, let's straighten our plane. Morrow County 9 or 8 uniform going around, Morrow. was no good. Eighteen hundred, left my left wing, looks clear. Morrow County, nine eight uniform, turning left cross wind, two eight Morrow. Alright, I'm gonna roll right in, downwind. Morrow County, nine eight uniform, turning left downwind, two eight Morrow. Pattern altitude, slow below. Double check our heading indicator compass. It's good. We'll power back. Don't need to be going so fast. Out of the green, let's get our car peed on. Uh, 
Those are 40, or those are being the numbers. Power back to 16. And it's pitch for 80. Now we're getting pushed again. Morrow County, 9 8 uniform, left base 28, full stop, Morrow. All right, uh, gas, undercarriage, gears welded, mixture's in for best power, let's get our landing light on. Backwards base looks clear, final approach looks clear, runway is clear, I'm clear to land. Let's try flaps 10, 1 1000. Uh, better not, I don't want that, we got too much wind. County 9 or 8 uniform, final approach, 2 8, full stop, Morrow. All right, power's all the way out. Keep that crab in there. Straighten our plane. Want that upwind wheel down first. We want to do one more. Let's get across this line here. Yeah, we will do one more, but take a quick break. Morrow County, November 9, right, uniforms clear, 2-8, Morrow. Alright, lights off. Avionics off, the beacons on, the trim, set for takeoff, extra lean, eggs, and master is going to go off. I'll be right back. All right, here we are again. Go ahead and get things started up here. Circuit breakers are all still good. 
Low pitch off, mixture's full rich, throttle slight, don't need to prime out, we just had it running, let's get our beacon on, and it is, brakes on. Prop. Clear on the left, looks clear on the right, clear front, there we go. Alright, got a vehicle over here on my left, and looks like they're moving. And they're crossing the runway. Okay, uh, let's get our taxi light, nav lights, ADSB, avionics. Alright, got all that, 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 seatbelts are on, flaps are up. Okay, altimeter is still good, transponder is on, heading indicator compass still looks good. Alright. We are charging, got good voltage. Morrow County, November 9 or 8 uniform is taxiing runway 28 from the ramp, Morrow. was doing because they were just over here they crossed the runway Alright, wind corrections in. Heading indicator compass still looks good. Down here, do another mag check. Yep, so I've got time for one more, and then I'll have to probably call it done. Because uh, we lost our babysitter a bit early this evening.
All right, two eight final is clear. Stop here. Do another run up, quick run up. Brakes are on. Fuel is on both. Trim is set for takeoff. Flight controls down on the left. Up on the right. Correction. Down on the left, up on the right, down on the right, up on the left. In elevator, rudder. Pretty incorrect. Brakes on. Okay. Primers in and locked. Mixture is best power. 1600. Left mag, there's a drop. Right mag, there's a drop. Repeat, there's a drop. Suction's good, oil pressure is good, oil temperature looks good. Alright, good, idle back. Run up checklist is complete. We're ready to go. Let's double check here. Two A final is clear. The runway is clear. The vehicle is clear. The runway. I am clear for takeoff. Moore County, November nine or eight. Uniform is taking two eight. Left close traffic. Moore. Double check. Two eight final still clear. Still clear. mile on the climb out. Moral County 9 or 8 uniform, departure like 2 a moral. There's 700 AGL, left my left wing, that looks clear, let's make that crosswind. Morro County, 9 8 uniform, turning left crosswind, 2 8 Morro. 4,700, overcast, 5,500, temperature, 1 9 Celsius, dew point, 1 3 Celsius, altimeter, 2 9 8 7. Remarks, density altitude, 1,800. Marion Municipal Pattern Altitude, Marion, Ohio. Automated weather observation 2203 Zulu. Morrow County, 9 8 uniform, turning left downwind 28 Morrow. Visibility 6 Hayes. Sky condition few 2700. Scattered 3300. Overcast 5500. Temperature 1 9 Celsius. Dew point 1 2 Celsius. Altimeter two nine or eight seven. Remarks. Density altitude. All right. Yep. So this will be our last one. Pull that power back just a little bit.
We're out of the green. Let's get our curb heat on. We're beam the numbers. Okay, power back to 16. Morrow County, 9 or 8 uniform, turning left base 28, full stop, Morrow. All right, our backwards base looks clear. Our final approach to 28 looks clear. Our runway is clear. All right, I'm clear to land. Morrow County, 9 or 8 uniform, turning final approach 28 Morrow. Morrow County, 9 or 8 uniform, final approach 28, full stop Morrow. All right, rudder, straighten our aircraft up. Fly the airplane all the way through. Wind corrections in. Uh, left rudder in for center, for scheme well. I wish I would have been more on the center line, but at least our aircraft was straight. We didn't side load. We kept our wind correction in. Yeah, it's about time for me to put her away. But I tell you what, these crosswind landings are getting easier and easier every time. Well. Not easier and easier, but, but it's coming to me a bit better every time. Private pilot check ride is scheduled for 14th of July. Okay. Morrow County, November 9 or 8 uniform is clear to 8, Morrow. Alright, yep. I think we ought to put her away. Now, if it wasn't for the clouds, I could deal with the wind, but if it wasn't for these cloud layers, I probably would give it some more. Plus, you gotta get back to the kids.
Another shameless plug for Sparks Fly LLC, uh, flight training out here at Morrow County. Space is limited, but if you are interested, we're based at 4 India Niner. Okay. Alright. After landing. Did all that. Landing. Did all that. Flaps up. Didn't even use flaps. Our repeat's gonna go off. No strobes to turn off, but let's get our landing light off. I gotta get used to verbally enunciating gumps. I did it, or that, not this last one, but the previous one. And while I went through it in my head, I didn't verbalize it. I gotta get in the habit of that, especially with my check ride coming up. Um, so let's get our landing light off. Trim, let's get that back for takeoff. Okay, and let's see. Avionics gonna go off. Make sure it's gonna go full lean. Mags to off. Get our get our beacon off. All right. Then the intercom will die when I turn the master off. So again, my name is Michael. I am a student pilot. I want to thank you all for flying with me today, and we will see you on the next one. Enjoy and take care of yourself. Take care of each other.